Hello everyone. This is Shine Garden. I'm a mother of three girls, so I'm always very busy. Start of the day, I fry some rice with my quail eggs. Hope they all like it. They're mostly sweet. But sometimes not. Let's see what's going to happen. Are you the cutest? This is my baby, number three. Look at Jack. She is always sweet. It's my middle one's lunchbox. It's my big one's lunchbox. Looks like a storm is coming. Yes, this is the storm. And it's time to get over it. My sweet baby. So I dropped off my babies, my little one, and now it's time to work. I'm so busy. <laughs> no time to waste. This is the um, sunflower sprout that I sowed earlier. Now it's time to harvest, otherwise they'll go eaten by snails and other worms. I grow my sprouts um, outdoor when it's summer, when it's warm, and I grow indoor when it's cold. This is amaranth, my favorite vegetable in the summer. And they are the easiest I figure out the vegetable to grow. Even in the drought in Auckland in the summer. You can easily harvest a basket. You just let a few go to seed and then just they will drop seed themselves as well so you just 
kind of help them a little if you want a certain area to grow them and then they'll sprout after some rain this is in the gravel path I didn't do anything I did not water it or do anything and they pop up everywhere in the vegetable field Just keep harvesting the top and let the little grow and even on the concrete beside the rubbish bin it's not a rubbish bin it's my um, big pot so they grow kind of big This is Lofa Guard, my favorite vegetable. Big harvest day today. Let's have a cup of tea. I love chamomile with mint. They're so refreshing. This is my branch. Some basil omelette. With some leftover rice and figs. Kids all come back. Kales again. My middle one found some berries on the hedge. This is lily pilly. We grow it as a hedge. And they give us some berries. They're very um, high in vitamin C. A lot of people um, make jams out of it. Kind of sour, um, but the little children loves it. Especially my baby. It normally have fruit in winter, but this tree um, decided to fruit in the middle of summer, and the rest. Has all waited, and the rest of the tree has no flowers yet. So only this one got fruit. I don't know why. I 
maybe because we prone the others and didn't prone this one because they get trimmed as a um, hatch wall they get trimmed very often so maybe that's why It's time for dinner. This is my husband. I'll make this little pancake with um, this sprout. Just add a bit of flour and salt um, and an egg. You don't need to add any water. The water from the sprout will mix the flour together into a sticky dough and then you just fry it. two sides until it's brown and they're ready we use air fryer a lot
time to feed my chickens. I feed them with wheat. I have three Chinese silky. I hatch them from babies, from egg. They're about five months old now, so maybe we'll start lay very soon. I love watching them eat. I keep them in this corridor between the hedge and our fence. It's about 20 meters long. I just give it um, some secure. I need to secure the fence even more. And put some bedding into it for the winter. They just got out from the cage, which I had it very securely. Um, because we have cats. So I just released them into this corridor not long ago and then they're just discovering. I think Chinese silky is very suitable for small garden. They don't jump or make a lot of noise or scratch a lot. They're very gentle. I like them. I had other chickens before and they um, they kind of jumping onto the tree and escaping. And they are fine. They're silky. They are very gentle and content. So I think I'll keep them for a long time. And this is my quails. I hatch them too. They're Japanese um, quail, so I keep them for eggs. And these two white ones um, were bullied because of their color, I think. Because these two were the only white um, quails among other colors, and they got bullied a lot. Um, they were bleeding, and they were so badly injured. So I have to keep them separate from other quails. I keep it in this cage temporarily um, for the summer and then I'll move it to the greenhouse for the winter. I haven't got them a new feeder yet because they were just moved out and recovering in this um, cage until they were healed. I'm not sure they, if they're gonna live because they were so brutally injured. And now they are bounced back and even start laying. Um, one is female and one is male so they are a couple. I'll keep them for a breeding. And this is my greenhouse. I moved them into this greenhouse um, after I recorded last video, I thought that we're in the middle of March and it's starting to get cool. So, but it's still kind of hot in in, in the noon. So I keep all the windows and doors open. I grow cucumbers in this greenhouse before last winter. I have no heating and they were doing very well. So I'm going to do it again this um, winter. And I just sold some cucumber seed, they just sprouted. And the quails will have company with the cucumber. Hope they like this new environment. And I need to get them a new feeder. perhaps a sand bath because they like to dust in the sand that's why their feathers are so dirty
They like to eat a lot before the night.、Um, so does the chickens. So I always feed them、um, before they go to sleep. Because I haven't got a feeder, so I have to hand like feed them in this. I don't want to put a lot because they will think this is a sand bath and start to bathing in it, and it got rid of all the food. So I feed them like three times a day, just a little bit, until I get a new feeder. That's it for the night. Good night.